So this is all looking good? It's looking great. Okay. All right, so tell me when. Hi everybody, this is Loria Stern. I'm at the beautiful Flamingo Estate where I will be making one of my favorite cake recipes. It will be using real vanilla beans. We'll also be harvesting edible flowers from around the grounds. We'll be pressing them into books and then we'll be decorating the beautiful cakes that we'll be making. So I'm so excited to show you this process. Now that we baked our cakes, we have some pre-made Swiss meringue frosting and we're gonna be coloring it with some all natural dust. So this is all natural beet powder and this is all natural turmeric that will make our frosting nice and yellow. What I love about this technique is you can dictate how saturated you want the frosting to be with just a little all natural coloring and it doesn't change the flavor too much. So if we want just a nice little tinted rosy pink, we'll add a touch of the beet powder. If we want a deep golden yellow frosting, we'll add a couple tablespoons of the turmeric spice. And that will definitely flavor the frosting, but I like it. It tastes delicious that way and it's a little bit different. All right, so now we are just frosting our lovely cake with our turmeric infused Swiss meringue buttercream. So if you don't have a cake wheel, I highly suggest getting one. They really make frosting fun and simple. Okay, so we are out here in the Flamingo Estate apothecary garden where there's a bunch of California natives and medicinal and edible herbs and flowers uh, that the Flamingo Estate uses in a lot of their body care line. Today we're going to pick some for our cakes. So right here I stumbled upon some lovely garden roses. They're really fragrant uh, and they'll press really nicely and the color will hopefully remain right for us to decorate our cakes with. You'll need a piece of clean parchment paper. And then you could just set your flowers. So I love this process because after a couple weeks, the flowers transform their shapes and most of the time they keep their bright colors. Make sure that your flowers are completely dry and not at all moist or else there might be some mold that develops. So another little tip is you don't want the flowers to be overlapping. So make sure there's ample space in between each bloom. So after we pressed our flowers and waited three weeks for them to be sufficiently pressed, now it's time to decorate our cake, which is my absolute favorite time of the process. Right here we have all edible pressed flowers. Some of them impart a little bit of flavor. Most of them do not at all and they just melt into the frosting and the cake. So I'm just gonna be decorating with an array of the flowers, each of our pretty pastel, all naturally colored cakes. 